Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the electrical question of the day. Which of the following statements is true regarding the use of PVC conduit according to NEC 352.10? And if you're unfamiliar with the NEC, there is a specific article for almost every conduit, raceway, or cable, including NM cable like Romex. And inside of those individual articles is going to tell you just about everything that you need to know about that specific conduit or cable. And if you'll go to the dot 10 sections of any conduit or cable, that's going to be the uses permitted where you find out what you can do with it. If you'll go to the dot 12 section, it's the uses not permitted. And it doesn't matter if you go to 352.10 or 334.10, it's going to be the uses permitted for that conduit or cable. And in this case, we're going to find out that type PVC conduit is permitted in walls, floors, and in ceilings. Rigid type PVC conduit, not to be confused with rigid metal conduit, but it is a rigid type conduit. And there are schedules 40 and schedule 80. It is one of the most versatile conduits out there. It's permitted exposed and concealed in walls, floors, and ceilings. You can virtually run it anywhere. Now, there are some places that you are not allowed to install it, and you'll find those in the uses not permitted, which is the dot 12 section right after the dot 10 section. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and I want you to do me a favor. If you're enjoying these videos, and these quizzes that you can get on YouTube, I want you to hit that like button and let me know that you're enjoying them so we can continue to do them. I want to continue to do these as long as they are being a useful tool and adding value to you. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and my bargain is that these videos, quizzes, polls, content, and everything that we do will add value to you, and then you will in turn go out and add value to others. If there's anything you need from me, you can always just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.